We're gonna bake a pot bread today on the fire, melted some butter, and we're gonna put in one kilo of white bread flour. And it's very simple, you just mix everything together. I like to put in some crushed wheat for extra roughage and it's a nice flavor, five handfuls. Bucket of instant yeast and about three teaspoons of sugar and about one teaspoon of salt. And for extra flavor, I had the butter in there, I like to add just a little bit of olive oil. And then you just start working it through and then slowly, oh, open your water before so you can do it with clean hands. And then you just work it through. I prefer just using one hand because I like to keep my other hand clean so I can touch things. Otherwise you're gonna have flour on everything or dough on everything. And then we're gonna add water. This is 500 mils. I think it's about 650 that you put in all together. To get to your 650 mils, you add a little bit more in your 500 mil. That's why you need your one clean hand. You know when your dough is ready, your, number one, your hands will start getting cleaner and it, it goes into a little ball. So you must just knee until it doesn't stick anymore and your hands are basically clean. Once you knead your bread, out in the Namibian sun, it's nice and warm. Uh, we're actually gonna put it in one of our vehicle's cabs because that's the perfect temperature to make it rise and it takes anything from 10 to 20 minutes. It will at least double up in its size. The pot we greased well and also the lid because sometimes it rises and then it will stick to your lid. So grease it all right through and then just plonk it in. Lid on and onto the coals. And we're just gonna add some coals on top of the lid. Not too many, because otherwise it burns. We wait about half an hour, see how far it is. If it needs more color, then we just add a little bit more coal, wait five, 10 minutes, and then it's ready. Have a look at the bread. Good South African way is to have your pot with your pot bread that's cooked in the fire, good butter, a bit of jam, and that complements the meal. Fire tongs. And these are the meat tongs. Okay, just moving it around to the meat sears. Let's lift the lid. There we go. 